Greetings to you, beloved. Welcome back. I'm Chelsea Barrett. Freedom is calling you now. The word of God to you today is one word, prepare. I started praying and asking God, Lord, what do you want to say today? What is the word? And the word the Lord gave me was prepare, followed up by the scriptures from Matthew 25 about the 10 virgins. We're going to unpack that some today, but I really want you to be reminded that prophetic words need to be judged. Whether they come from me or from any other source, the prophetic word needs to be judged. By that I mean you need to go before the Lord and ask God, Lord, is this a word for me? Is it a word for me in this season? And if so, Lord, what do I need to do with it? Not every word every time is for every person. There has to be a connection there where you know, oh yes, God, this is an on-time word for me. Yes, God, this is what you're speaking to me right now. And then beyond that, once you confirm that the word is indeed for you, it's your responsibility to go to God and find out what God wants you to do with the word. He may want you to wait and just pray about it, or there may be specific actions that the Lord requires for you to, to take to, um, to work the word and to see the manifestation in your life. And that's what is really happening with this word as well today, probably more so than, than others. The Lord wants to speak to you specifically about how to prepare if this word is in fact for you today in this season. So let's dive right into the word. The scriptures that I'm going to share today are from Matthew 25 about the parable of the ten virgins. We start here at Matthew 25 verse 1. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamp and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied. There um, may not be enough for us both. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins were ready. The virgins who were ready went in to meet him and went into the wedding banquet. And the door was shut. Yikes. Later, the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. Wow. Always profound. There are many different scenarios that this can be plugged into. It's talking primarily about the kingdom of heaven in your life. It's talking about the afterlife, accepting Jesus and making sure that you're ready when Jesus comes because we don't know the day or the hour. But today, what God is talking about specifically for you and your situation, if this word is for you, is that your next season is right there. You're right on the cusp of it. You're right at the doorway of breaking into that next season and that next level. God is saying, prepare yourself though. You need to be prepared. If you're not prepared for it, you're going to miss it. If you're not prepared for it, when you go through the door, you're going to struggle. Prepare yourself, God says to you today. If you will take heed to this word, God is going to show up and he's really going to surprise you. Some months ago, I knew that some transition was coming in my life, but I didn't know what it was and I certainly didn't know what to do about it. And the word of God came to me, for me. It came directly to me from uh, another prophet who um, I really just, just honor, honor this person and their voice in my life. He spoke the word to me that God said to prepare. And I accepted the word because it was a stirring that I had already felt in my spirit. But I didn't know how to prepare. I'm like, God, I don't even know really what it is you're calling me to do. I know the general uh, situation. I know general specifications, but I don't have the real details. So I have no idea what you want me to do to be prepared for this next level. I don't even really, really know what it is I'm preparing myself for. So I went to God and I sought him and found out exactly what he wanted me to do. 
And I'll be very honest with you, God didn't come to me directly and say, Chelsea, my daughter, I want you to go to this place and talk to this person and read this book and, and do this and do that. God doesn't always speak that way. Sometimes he does speak that way very clearly, but at times he'll just put things in your way and you'll feel a connection or a nudging of the Holy Spirit, a peace about it, uh, and a guide knowing what to do. If you ask, God's going to provide. It's up to him how he chooses to speak. Yes, Lord. Um, <laughs> the Lord is just speaking to me that at, at a later time, I'm going to go into some really deep teaching with you on how the Lord speaks and how you can recognize the voice of God in your own life. Yes, I will, sir. But at that, um, at that time, when I asked God to help me to prepare, I didn't know what to do. And God just started laying out what I call the breadcrumbs, the trail so that I could follow to know what to do and, and just following it with faith. And I felt a peace. There always has to be a peace. Even if you know, you're a little nervous or apprehensive because you don't have the details and there may be a little bit of uncertainty. If you have the peace, the peace of the Holy Spirit in you, follow the path that God's laying out for you to prepare. A lot of preparing is also prayer. I know for me, Every new level that I've gone to has come with a new level of prayer. I really have to pray the things out. I don't know what to pray or how to pray most of the time, so I pray in my heavenly language because I'm connected with the Holy Spirit and praying directly to God, and He prays out mysteries through me. I am so just overwhelmed to know that I heeded to the Word of God in my own life, and I feel so prepared in this season to be where God has me. I feel so prepared even to sit before you today and to share what God is telling me to tell you. God wants you to prepare today. He wants you to come to Him and say, Lord, yes, I accept whatever it is you want to do in my life. However you want to use me and lead me, I accept it. Lord, show me how to prepare. Show me, Lord. Tell me what to do. Once you say that, just trust in your heart that God hears you, number one, and number two, that God is going to respond to you. He will. Then be open to the way that God speaks to you and be looking. Have your spirit man look. Be alert to what God's telling you to do. For some of you, it's for marriage. It really is that your, your partner, your bridegroom, or your wife, your bride is coming, and you need to prepare yourself. You need to prepare your habits. Be a little bit more clean. You may need to take a cooking class. You may need to work on your appearance. You may need to work on your communication. You may need to work on your heart. Get rid of unforgiveness. Get rid of past hurts. The Lord will tell you, I do sense that, yes, that there are a lot of you that God wants to prepare in this season for marriage, but you need to make the initiative. You need to take that first step to go to God and say, okay, God, how do you want me to prepare? For some of you, I hear you, Lord, it's also for ministry. So God may be calling you to take some courses. God may be calling you to sit under a certain ministry. God may be calling you to connect in some way with the ministry. There are things that God wants you to do to prepare so that when that door opens, you will go through it smoothly. But you will also operate in the anointing. You have to prepare by receiving the anointing, which comes from being in the presence of God. Mm. There are great things. Oh, my brothers and sisters, there are great things that are coming to you in this season. It's a season of new beginnings, and there are wonderful things that are coming to you, but you need to be prepared. Wow. So let's pray. And I really feel like that's all I need to say today. So let's pray. Um, then I'll pray for you and, and we're going to wrap. So, you know, we like to be refreshed. We'd like to give an opportunity to anyone who hasn't received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So go ahead and close your eyes with me right now. And let's go to the Father together. Repeat after me. Father God, I am a sinner. I need a Savior. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son who died on the cross and rose on the third day for me. Father, forgive me of my sins. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I surrender to you and I will live for you. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God and welcome to the family of Christ. Welcome to the refreshing of the Holy Spirit. 
If you don't have a local church, get plugged in with a local church so that you can be discipled and you can get connected and really grow and mature in your relationship with Christ. Amen. Now I'm going to pray just a short prayer for you uh, and just be led by the Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, that this is a season, Lord, of open doors. I thank you that it is a season of breakthrough. I ask you right now, Lord God, to speak your word to my brothers and my sisters, to your family, God. Speak to them how they need to be prepared. Yes, I hear that again. Weddings, there are weddings coming, and you all need to prepare. You need to go to the Lord and find out how he wants you to prepare. Physical, yes. A lot of physical things and transformation needs to take place. Yes, but be led of the Lord. Um, the Lord is saying to me right now, even as Queen Esther had to go uh, before the king, she had to go through her year of preparation. She had to go through six months of perfuming and six months of cosmetics. For some of you, yes, you do need perfuming and you do need cosmetics from a natural standpoint, but it may also be perfuming that the Lord needs to cleanse some things from your heart and make you start to smell good again, not just in the natural, but in the spirit. It may be cosmetics that the Lord needs to remove some things from you and, and put on the new things of him so that you can truly look, smell, and feel like you are indeed made in the image of Christ. Amen. So Father, I thank you for that today. Lord, I ask that you would just show up in a profound way to lead and to guide your people so that they may know how to be prepared and that they may be truly prepared to walk in this new season and walk in this new level that you have for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Beloved, this was a quick one. God wants it to be quick because you need to now take this if it's for you and run with it. Go to God directly for yourself. God wants to speak to you specifically about the details of your own personal life. He wants to tell you what it is he wants you to do to prepare in this season. Remember, I love you. God loves you more. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.